welcome. The Princess Royal, Princess Anne, is in hospital due to an incident or an, an accident. We have been told that she is well and um, recuperating. We wish her all the best and hope for a speedy recovery. Princess Catherine, as you know, um, is taking preventative chemotherapy and the king also is doing his own treatment for his cancer diagnosis. Now with the reduced royal royals and all of these other senior royals sort of out of commission, Jeremy Vine was asking, is it time to call Harry back? Who are you gonna call? Call Harry. No, Jeremy, I think we can put that to rest. No calling Harry. He's good where he is. Unless it's an emergency, emergency, then maybe. Also, the um, Emperor and Empress of Japan, Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masaku are on a official visit and they arrived today in the UK. And um, uh, just a message to Thomas Markle. Just shut up. Sit down. Shut up. Don't you think you've done enough damage? And we will be um, looking at some of your comments and responding. So stick around. Hello everyone and welcome once again to Majesty Sussex Report. I'm Antonio and as always it's a pleasure to have you here joining us and thank you for spending some of your valuable time here with us. All right so the Emperor and Empress of Japan, Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masaku, as I'm speaking um, they already arrived in the UK um, they did a little procession kind of thing, went into, I think it was Buck Buck um, Buckingham Palace. So they're here, well, in the UK officially on an official visit. And um, let me see. So how are you folks doing? Everyone is good. I'm hoping everyone is good and having a fantastic day. If not, if things are a little bit stressed out or anything like that, do remember. Go back to breathing, take some deep breath in, hold it for five seconds, exhale out, do that like for three times, and um, hopefully that will calm you down and send, and, and send to you. And if you are experiencing the kind of heat that lately we've been having, um, do remember, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yesterday, I um, was speaking on, well, I, I, I was speaking with with a friend, and I had to stop halfway through because my 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 tongue, my mouth was so was so dry. So it's like uh, I need to go get some water because I think most of the day I was drinking um, juice for some reason. I think I was enjoying the sugar. Oh well. So what well, what we've got today? I I just found out that I I think Harry. Um, won some award for Spare, um, winner of the Inaugural Choice Recognition Award. I, I just, just just saw it, so I don't know anything about it. So 
isn't that great? Like if it's legit and if it's an award, award, like, yay, this is, that's awesome. Totally, totally awesome. So we'll, we'll chat a little bit about um, Thomas Markle. I know, I know, I know. But I just want to chat a little bit about, about him. Because, um, you know, I started to look into, because, you know, I like to psychoanalyze people. Um, so I, I, I kind of, you know, look, looked at, at, at him and his behavior and all of that. And just, just the idea of a father do, doing that to, well, you know, you know what, you know, this, what I can't speak. <laughs> you know, no, 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 no. It just occurred to me because I said, I can't imagine how a father is capable. And I say that about King Charles all the time. I'm always saying, you know, I can't imagine how he can allow this stuff to happen and whatever in regards to Harry. And I just said it in regards to Thomas Markle. So you see, maybe, maybe they both have awful fathers. Gosh. No, but can you imagine though? Because I really can't. Like if, if, if I, if I, I don't even have children and I am like treat people like, like my children. And I, I couldn't, no, 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 no. I don't know. You have to have a certain type of heart, a certain type of soul to just be like that. And I'm not, not like that. All righty. So what I wanted to do, let's get right into it. And um, let's look at some of your comments. Okay, so I just found out a little bit more about the recognition or the award. Um, so Spare by Prince Harry has won the inaugural choice recognition award at the audio. Each year, the Audio Publishers Association awards excellence in audiobooks across multiple categories and genre. And this year, um, PRH Audio scored top wins for audiobook of the year. Best fiction narrator, personal business development, mystery nonfiction UK produced audiobook, and earned an inaugural choice recognition. Yay! <laughs> this is great. This is wonderful. I actually, like, I, I, I don't know what, what sort of awards are out there and this and that because sometimes you know you have like you can win a grammy for uh, uh i don't know for reading or something i'm not saying that's what you can you, you can win i know there are awards like the grammys or so on that people um like audio stuff is eligible for i i was expecting i and i don't know if, if the book might have missed um award seasons or whatever for books but i i thought it would it would get more awards or something but you know what it's an excellent book excellent excellent book and listening to prince harry narrate is just a different experience having the book and listen to him you know as you you read in he's reading to you basically it, it is really you, you can you can just it it, it it sort of becomes even more real, I would say. And another thing that this, this just occurred to me, because I was I was seeing it pop up all over um, last night. All right, so now they're going to compare the whole Beyonce concert that Prince Harry and Meghan attended with the Taylor Swift that William just attended. And who was grumpier or who was dancing? I, I, I said this, I said this on, on Monday or some, I don't remember when I said it. But it's, don't they get tired? Don't they get tired of just, I guess if your income depends on it, then, you know, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't get tired. You just, you just do it. But gosh, 
Isn't it time to look at you? He's having so much fun. And the other, he was so grumpy. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have any fun I, I, I mean, I don't think toddler, toddlers behave like this. And these are like grown ASS people that work in publishing that write these things knowing that you know it's not it's not the full truth or sometimes it's just a quarter of a truth like gee I'll, I'll i'll tell you i've gone to a couple of concerts well not a couple i've gone i've gone to quite a few <laughs> a couple i've gone to two concerts which ones uh i don't remember i think one was Ricky Martin. Um, yeah. I just have, listen, I have gone to quite a few, but I'll tell you one of the people here I go, you see, I, I get talking and gee, one of the best performers, best, like hands down, Janet Jackson. Janet freaking Jackson. Yes, yes, and yes. I was in, oh, you know who else? Tina Turner. God, you know, rest, rest in peace. That woman, I was like, stand, I was standing there, um, and I just, I just like was in awe of her, just in awe of her. And her stage, let me see if I remember what, yeah, her stage went up, like it kind of, it was sort of like, Think of it as a pasarela, like a runway, right? And then the runway kind of lifted up like a crane or something. And she was going up this thing. And I was like, I'm like, lady, lady, how old are you? you you're like, you're like, you're everything right now. <laughs> she was just, oh gosh, I'm so happy. So happy I went to that concert because... It did cost a coin, and I was like, I don't have that money. And um, anyways, I didn't end up getting the money, and I went, and I was so happy that I went because she put on what an extraordinary show, and I'm happy I got to see her. And Janet Jackson was the other one that was just really, really, really great. I saw Ricky Martin also, and Julio Iglesias, not Julio Iglesias, um, <laughs> is Julio Iglesias his dad? Yeah, I think so. I saw Enrique Iglesias. Yeah. And then I saw Ricky Martin by himself, too. Um, by the time I saw Ricky Martin, his entire set had this, like, Middle Eastern, like, he, he, he changed the notes of the songs and it had a little, like, Arabic Middle Eastern thing to it. Oh, it was divine. It was so sensual. It was so great. All right. Get back on track, Antonio. Back on track. Focus. Thank you, Antonio. Our first comment is from Diana. These people who said Meghan didn't understand the culture know they are all coping her, holding Prince Harry hand, the way she dressed, her hairstyle, and on and on. Thank you for that, Diana. Um, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. I think it's 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 quite insane. I mean, if if I wasn't doing this and and involved in 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 staying up to date in you know what the happenings are i would not believe it you know it, it's it's quite difficult if you're having a conversation with any rational person and you try and explain to them all the gaslighting and all this you know scapegoat and all this other nonsense that has happened and for what? For what? Because I, 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 I'm still waiting for someone to tell me why. Why? Jealousy, right? Ego. And 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 six years later, seven years later, you 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 still you still going at it. But I mean, of course, there is there is money also, right? But you know, it, it was quite. A, sad to just watch you know her be demonized 
and criticize every step she took, every step. And it reminded me of the Obamas. When I think it was Michelle Obama, she was giving an interview and she said, you know, we just couldn't do that. I couldn't wear my hair like this. I couldn't, she goes, I was very, very aware. And so was um, President Obama, that we were the first of our kind. Oh, sorry, that just hit me. Um, first of our kind to occupy that office. And we couldn't afford to do one thing wrong. One thing. I mean, I don't know if you, you folks remember when um, First Lady Obama had said she, she, she wanted to encourage kids to eat healthier, right? And she was saying, you know, it's, when she add vegetables and, and she did the whole um, um, veg, vegetable plant and stuff at the, um, at the White House. That became a thing. Don't tell our kids what to eat. We don't need you to so socialize. Like, when did people become so stupid? So absolutely stupid. Because it's not, look, I, I don't, I think I'm even insulting stupid people. Because this, this is beyond stupidity. When did, when did people just stop thinking and, and allowing their hate to fester and, and to say the things that they end up saying? I just thought the whole thing was so ridiculous. And, and you know, in, in the UK with, with, oh, it's protocol. No one should be hold, don't hold hands. How, how vulgar of her to hold her husband's hand. How vulgar of you. Like, obviously, you weren't hugged as a child. I mean, I wasn't either, but that's okay. No, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, it's, it's just these, 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 these sort of invented, created protocols. And, and I mean, listen, there, there, there are rules that are there for a reason. Then there are rules that are there just, just to maintain a certain order, right? So if something happens, it's not a big deal. It's just there to like, so everyone knows, okay, you stand over there, you stand over here, you, you, your, your position is there. But the big deal that they made about every single thing, every single thing is just appalling. Anyways, thank you. Then uh, now, uh, as, as you said, now, now they're all either imitating her or, or doing the exact same thing for which she was criticized for. Oy. Lily Bell, the rich and the privileged come out to play, to show their wealth and their power over the less mortals. I'm in my late 60s and UK born and bred. I knew nothing about Juneteenth. There was no books, no teaching about this. Just like slavery, the real truth about slavery was never taught or mentioned. But I'm glad now I'm in the position and have the knowledge to let my granddaughter know about her heritage. Thank you for your presentation. Well, thank you so much for that. And it's, it's comments like that that, uh, you know, can get me emotional very quickly. I, 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 love, to hear, I love to hear that. I, I think it's very important for us to continuously be learning, for us to continuously be um, the things we don't know, just to, to sort of seek out that knowledge. I'll say, you know, <sighs> there's so much about our history and histories in general that we are not taught, that we don't know. And I don't want to say it's done on purpose, but it's done on purpose, right? And I remember when I was in high school, asking my um, teacher at the time, because I, 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 I had heard something about the Chinese helping build the Canadian railway, but it was nowhere in our history book. 
our history textbook. And my 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 teacher at the time, you know, she said, Yes, yes, yes. I said, I said, Oh, are, are we gonna are we gonna learn about that? And she goes, Oh no, it's not part of the curriculum. And I kept thinking, well, why not? I mean, I mean, we learned a lot about U U.S. history. We learned a lot about U.S. politics and so on. But there was so much about Canadian history that, that we didn't learn that I, I had to go seek out because I was interested in, in, in knowing, right? And, you know, thousands of, 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 of Chinese um, uh, people from um, China, well, men, were, were brought over to work on the railway and they were treated off awful they were paid i think a dollar a day out of that dollar they had to um pay for their food pay for pr provisions and all of that um they were they were usually given the most dangerous jobs to handle the dynamite and and explosive many of them died and um at the end, when the rail the railway was completed, they were not invited or included in any of the celebrations uh, for it. And there's a whole bunch of other things too. So, I, I history is written a certain way because certain people want it written that way. I mean, I even um, I had to go doing research because also another topic I was interested in was that there was. You know, in in Nova Scotia, um, in the late seventeen hundreds, I believe, early early eighteen, yeah, late seventeen hundreds, early eighteen hundreds, um, after the American Revolution and the War of eighteen twelve, there was a large group of black settlers that began arriving in the province. So they, they they've had a black community there. Uh, for for a very very long time, but the, it's it's nowhere in our history textbooks, nowhere. And history is written a certain way because they want it written that way. Now you know we can theorize as to why, but I'll, I'll say we we can agree that one of the reasons is that when look history is identity when you are excuse me when you understand and you know your history you have a you have you have a better sense of who you are you have a better sense of where you come from you have a better sense of the history that has has, has weaved through the, the 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 country that you live in um the place that you call home that is why, for me, it, it's so troubling what's happening. Where you know these 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 what is conservative organizations are wanting to to eliminate certain things um, within history, to eliminate it it it, it total um, um, identity of of a people of of their past, like what's happening in in Florida, in Texas, and and in in other places, because under the disguise of the fragility of of certain certain children or of their parents or whatever, right, which is absolute nonsense. I think it's 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 so important because when you speak with someone. Let's say, for example, in in um, Kenya, right, and they understand the history of what has happened to, you know, colonization and all of that. So they understand history one way. The colonizer understands it another way. So when, for example, in the U.S., um, well, in Florida, I think the you know, they've, they've, they've basically said that, oh, well, you know, these these folks that were brought over from Africa, you know, they were given like apprentice jobs and, you know, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were taught to, 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 to well and do all this other stuff. Like, the insanity, the insanity. It's so, so important for us to know our history. 
so important. Uh, and, and I mean, to know the, 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 the history of the, of the country, all of it, the good, the bad, the ugly, no, all of it, right? Because they who don't know their, their, their history are, are deemed to repeat it or something like that. So I think it's very important for us to all know. And I can go on more with this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shush. I'm so happy, though, so happy to hear that you yourself, um, as, you, as, as you learn more, um, I would say also seek out more, right? And try and uh, grab that information, read, read, read the books and... Um, and we're able to understand better because when also when we don't, and I love the whole thing about passing on the history. Love it. I am a big fan of oral history and it being, oh, it, it being told to our kids and, and for them to have an understanding and look, I, I really think, I know some people say, oh, they're too young, they're too... No, be a storyteller, tell a story. I, I've always been in awe, and I remember since I was a, a, a kid, you know, when I would listen to adults speak, and they would talk about, oh, do you remember when this happened? And, oh, oh well, well, she used to live here. And and remember when, when, when they took that, that ferry, and this happened, and... I was just in awe of these stories, and and even though some of it was not, you know, great or nice um, for a kid, it was like an, an adventure. And I understood that in adventures, or I mean, in stories, there's good things happen, bad things happen, people may die, and so on. So, <sighs> great, great, great. Thank you, Karen. The Brits are culturally classist. Until recently, the monarchy has enjoyed popularity among commoners. Of course, they've had their ups and downs, including Charlie II losing his head, but for the most part, the people of England have largely supported the aristocracy. And when they've fallen out of favor because of privilege, the government responded by taxing them more, to the point they've almost been taxed out of existence. Most of the aristocratic class cannot afford their manor houses, selling off their grand estates one farm at a time. What is left of the aristocracy is mainly the House of Lords and traditions, held up by a cultural understanding of the importance of a monarch as a head of state. But it is all very precarious. I have talked to Brits who are royalists who exclaim that the monarch is a check on the system of government they've developed but their arguments make no sense to me as a Republican, the small R kind. I point this out because I think it is a mistake to divorce these sorts of power structures from the culture. Power structures work with culture. People are not divorced from the powerful elites as you would believe. It does not make sense to us because we falsely believe that we live in a society where class mobility is possible. We have our own classism. It is based on race, how able you are, and the wealth you've obtained, mostly inherited. In the minds of many Brits, it is kind of nice to know the place you fit in society. Some people get great satisfaction from having service jobs. Working for aristocrats was a form of social mobility. We don't get that because at the very least there is this idea that we shouldn't have to bow and scrape to each other. But there are smaller forms of bowing and scraping that take place in the USA every day. We have to ingratiate ourselves to many bosses and others that have authority every single day. I am a socialist. I see unnecessary hierarchies everywhere. In some ways, I almost admire the honesty of the class system in Britain. They don't lie to each other and promise hard work will set you free and then kick you in the face just as you are starting to get up the ladder. I can't stand that their society is built on bowing and scraping, mind you but I do see it as more honest. There are people with more power in the USA, and in many ways, they make the laws that influence culture. There's the other side to it as well, people making street culture that impacts the larger culture, but only if it can be commodified. 
Karen, that was an incredible comment. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to add. That's a mic drop there. Um, that's, that was honestly quite, quite amazing. And, and thank you so very much um, for the comment. And it, it's, it's so wonderful, wonderfully um, written and, um, and laid out. Um, it's, you know, and, and thought provoking, <clears throat> excuse me. I think it really captures the, the, the complexities of the class system in both, you know, the UK and, um, in the US and, and by association, because saying, you know, in places like Canada or even Australia, New Zealand and so on. Um, Karen, you, you draw a very, um, interest in parallel between the overt class system in Britain and the more covert forms of classism and hierarchy um, that is experienced in the US. It's it's compelling how how you highlight the 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 honesty of the British system where there isn't a pretense that hard work alone can guarantee upward mobility, which is which is a stark contrast to the often um, the only word is coming to my head right now is delusion or or del delusion in the American dream, right? Because the American dream, who's it for really? Who can really achieve it? And what 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 exactly is it now? Right, so there's there's maybe yeah, you know the word it's met metamorphosis into something different <clears throat> as to what that that um that American dream is. Your reflection on the on the cultural acceptance of arist arist aristocracy aristocrat oh my goodness <laughs> sorry folks Aristo aristocrat aristocrat I can't say this word today, and I can say it in my head. I can hear it. <laughs> my apologies. You know what I mean to say. I'll just use the word aristocratic. Um, in in um, in Britain, um, <coughs> excuse me. Mi mi mirrored mirrored by the um, that show, uh, Downton Abbey. Um, it sort of parallels. Um, there's, there, there are parallels of, of the struggles within the upper classes align well with what we are, we are observing today. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut, 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 cut it right here. Um, because I do go on for a bit more and I think I should have just left it at Karen's, um, comment and not try and respond. Uh, or, 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 you know, because your comment was just golden and I do go on for a bit more and I'm being, trying to be mindful of, of the time. So I'm going to cut it and, um, quickly also say to, um, Nisi Gate, thank you so very much, um, for your comment. I, I agree with you, right? It, it's literally the male version of the Cinderella, um, story. Uh, Marsha Williams, thank you as always. Yes, I, I I actually redid it today also. So I eliminated the wall that that was I think on the left hand side. I've expanded the the, the window, um, so it's it's a, a lot more open now. So I think I think um, this setup is going to stay for the rest of the summer. I think, <laughs> but I get bored very quickly, so I start to do things. Anyways. Um, thank you so much, uh, Marsha. Uh, Jackie, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am with you, okay? They are both evil. Evil. Punto final. That's it. Um, Mrs. Clutch Sussex. Oh, I just got that. Mrs. Mrs. Clutch, Clutch Sussex. That's amazing. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um Oh, well, thank you, thank you so much they, uh, for your um, com your 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 comment. I I was looking I was looking at all the letters. And I'm like, 
okay, how am I going to pronounce that? And then I just saw the division. Anyways, thank you so very much. Reba! Reba, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Out oh, a story with my brother. I've got I've got more stories to tell about my, my brother. And um, I, was, I was thinking of, of maybe, you know what? I'll do it in the next podcast because I'm trying to be mindful of time. Dorothy, hello and thank you. Thank you for the love. Um, Sha Sha Sharon Agustin. Okay, I got that too. I got it. I got it. I got it. I, got it. I, got, I had to get closer to the laptop. I'm like, I can't see. Um, thank you so much, Sharon. Um, HJ said, thank you. Texas is still a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and it might always be a problem. Oh boy. Um, Alice Castro. Yes, Al yes, yes, yes. Shout out again. So I'm shouting you out again. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, thank you. Marilyn, thank you very, very, very much. Um, Janet, thank you. What do you do for me lately? Ooh, ooh yeah. Was that a Janet Jackson song? I think, yeah, yeah. Um, and 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 um, uh, Joyce, Joyce, thank you so very much. Um, oops, oops, oops. I just um, Arja, thank you very, very much. And um, let me see what else, what else we have here. Um, Arja, I I love the song "Free for Freedom" also. Freedom. It's it's just oh it's wonderful. Um Essie, thank you so very much. Thank thank you for always um being here and giving you wonderful support. Connie, Connie, but no, uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it, not gonna do it. I swear. It's like after a year of listen Baron, like like do that. Like it's in my head now. Every time I see Connie, I'm like, God damn it. It's like it's as if you were on one of those like game shows. <laughs> it's like, come on down, Connie. And it's I'm not gonna do it. Connie, thank you always, always, always. You're amazing. And um and the other folks were featured today. So thank you all for commenting and um for all of our new subscribers also. Thank you very much. I hope you stayed until this point and you're still there. Um, if you are enjoying this, the content or you find it interesting and you want to continue coming along and enjoying the discussion, leaving comments too and so on, um, do subscribe. It's just a second or two. Just click on that button that says subscribe. Um, thumbs up to say, hey, the, comment, the, the content wasn't bad. It was great. Thank you. And leave us a comment. Um, as long as it's not offensive, as long as it's not trying to teach any one of us something that you think you know about the Duke and Duchess of um, Sussex, don't. The time you invest doing that, whether, whether it's two minutes, whether it's one minute, whether it's half a minute, go hug someone that you care about. Go call someone and tell them that you love them or something else. Invest that time doing that. Like, don't, don't invest it in us. No, no need. No need. Be wiser with your time. Okay. Um, thank you so very much. I actually, I was going to do also a thing. Um, oh, yes, I got uh, some super things to say thank you. Um, so let me just abracadabra this this part of the of the setup and get the stage ready. Big thank you to Nisi Gates. Thank you so very much for your super thanks. Thank you for contributing to the channel. I, I really appreciate it. As I said before, whatever is um, donated or given to the channel, it goes right back into it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. Yay! And our next person is Alice. Alice Landon, thank you so very much again, Alice. Um, thank you. 
uh, big hugs and thank you for supporting the channel I appreciate it so very much thank you thank you thank you Miss Connie 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 thank you so very much um, much love and thank you for contributing to the channel really 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 appreciate it 